be showing you on how to cut the corset dress coat on the, on this pattern paper. So there it goes. So I'm going to fold this pattern paper into two. I'll fold it into two. After folding it into two, the, more, the measurements I'll be using are bust 37, waist 32, 32, on from shoulder to the under bust is 13, and from the shoulder to the nipple it is 10. The nipple to nipple it is 7 inches, and my and the back measurement is or the back measurement, or you can also call it shoulder to shoulder, it is 15. Let me. Oh, and the half length, half cut is 15. So here is a, this is the half cut. I'm going to add one inch, one inch to it for the so for the same allowance up and down. So I'll add one inch to it, making 16. I'll chop 16, 16. 16. I'll match it together. The shoulder is fifteen. 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 My shoulder slant, I'm going to deduct half inch and I'll slant it. So from the shoulder slant, you know we have deducted half inch from it so we are going to so the shoulder measurement is 15 while the arm o measurement will also be 15. 15. i'll match it together also and i will add two inches allowance to the shoulder measurement two inches two inches From shoulder, from shoulder to half cut is 15, 16, and from shoulder to under bust is 13. But because I'll be adding it, and I'll be, I'll be joining it at the shoulder, so I will put, I will add half inch to it, so making 13.5. Five. Connect it together. Thirteen point five. The boss point is ten inch. I will, I will also add half inch to it. That's ten point five. Ten point five. Ten point five. The nipple distance that's the nipple to nipple is seven but because if we cut everything out it's going to be small again so i decided to, it's add, to reduce the measurement it's going to reduce the measurement so i will i add half an inch to it so that's making four inch inches four inches here four inches here and four inches here. I'll connect it together. Ah. This seven inch is the yoke. It's the yoke. It's the yoke. So I'm going to subtract one point five inch from the from the center of the dress cut. Let me label it so that you understand better. Okay. Let me label it so that you understand better. Okay. 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 
this is the yoke, this is the bust point, this is the under bust, and this is the half waist, which means the half length, any half shaft. So I'm going to subtract one and a half inch from the center. I will chuck it one and a half inch or 1.5 inch, any of from the side also I'll subtract 1.5 inch. I'll connect it to the boss point. Connect it to the point spread. Don't let it to be to be pencil curve it. And also from the side also. From the 1.5 inch you connect it to the boss point. After connecting it to the boss point. So I'm going to subtract one inch from here. One inch from here. Like I said earlier, these two inches I I added here. So I've chopped, I've subtracted it from here again, which means one inch and one inch. That's two inch. So this is it. I've I've so I've added here also. So one inch here and one inch here. I'll connect it up. You must give it a nice shape. The half length is also one inch. So that one point five. One point five inch. So that in case you want to join it, so that it's going to firm at the waist parts. So one point five inch also here. Connect it. After connecting it, so this we want to do the corset method now. From from the center of the of the of the bust, you you chuck half inch, half inch, half inch, half inch, half inch. So from the under bust, you are going to connect. You are going to curve the. You are going to curve your line. Your line. So from after, the under bust, you from, cough it to the half inch. Okay, from the under bust, you cough it to the bust point. So this is it. You cough it, you give it a nice cough. After covering it, when you cough it, so you now straighten your hand here. Now straighten it. So you meet this, you cough it. Cough it. After coughing it, straighten it like this. So if you want to get this 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 curve area if you don't want any mistake if you're on the silver side if you don't if you don't want the 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 the, the corset the cup to be excess you measure it on your client you measure um from the bust that's from here you not start from this first journey you start from the second journey that packed your bust so you measure it to the other side. My is 16. So 16 divided by 2 is 8. So I'll chalk out 8. This is it here. 8. You you chalk it on the boss point area. So after chalking it, you now connect it together. You connect it together. Now this this this, this is our arm. So after connecting it together, you now slant it. Yeah, I recently slant it here. So this is our yoke. It depends on what the but the person I'm using it for. The person don't want it to be lower. So this is the exact length of the yoke I'm going to use. So let me cover my arm up. This is the arm up covering. So from the arm up. The, the the clients are measuring said she don't want her breast to be showing so she, she said i should add it up so i decided to add half inch up so from this my half up i'll connect it to the half inch and it will end at this seven inches so this is it this is it at the center and at the center, it will connect to the center. So this is it. This is it. So 
you can do it this way or this way if you want it to curve if you want to do it like add shape if you want to do it like add shape so this is the way you do it and if you want to do it straight so this is the way you do it so that's all for the corsets that's all for the corsets then i'll be taking the measurements the measurement i told you earlier is the bust is the bust is 37 so 37 divided by 4 that's 9 inches 9 inches so this is it i will add 3 inches allowance to it 3 inches allowance to it and the and the waist measurement is 30 is 32 so 32 divided by 4 is 8 so this will be 8 this is it i'll add another three inches to it i'll connect it together this is the common measurement i took this is the normal measurement so this this is the same allowance three three inches so let me do the cutting out now the boss point you notch it and also you notch the side also if you don't want to be confused you 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 can label it this way center front side front so that you know which one and which one to place on it so this is it this is it This is the yoke. If you want to put yoke, you can put it. If you don't want to put yoke, you can put it aside. But me, I'm not putting yoke. So, so hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial so far. 
if you want to transfer all this on the fabric, you have to add half inch to it for the same amount, the same thing applicable to others. What you do for this, you're going to do it for this and every one of them. And if you want this yoke, if you want to attach the yoke, you can cut out the yoke on the fabric. And if you don't want to use the yoke, you can keep that aside. If you are watching me for the first time, make sure you subscribe to my channel and if you like this tutorial, so far, make sure you give it a thumbs up. See you in my next class.